So um, today I would like to uh, investigate uh, what I think uh, could be defined as the turn to ethics of a contemporary institution, both from an institutional and from a curatorial perspective. Um, I think we could define ethics uh, from an institutional perspective as the tendency um, of contemporary art institutions to um, accurately choose uh, the sponsor or the, the partnerships um, uh, in order to uh, define uh, their reli a reliable and trustable ethical profile um, for the institution. But at the same time, I think the ethical turn of contemporary art institutions is a turn uh, to ethics of contemporary uh, curatorial practice. Um, and from, and uh, from an art historical perspective, one could also say that, that this turn uh, to ethics was initiated uh, by the social turn in contemporary uh, art, and, uh, and that is today characterized uh, by a collaborative uh, curatorial practice. Both from an institutional and a curatorial perspective, uh, ethics is seen as a mode of thinking and performing in a good way, that at the same time aims at maximizing the common good of the society by creating the image of a good institution and also by strengthening uh, the social bond between the audience and the institution. However, art institutions uh, maximize the common good only in relation to the contingency, and here we come back again to the contingency, and also to the circumstances and, and to the context to which they relate. So we can say that Institutional ethics and, uh, and also curatorial ethics uh, has therefore, have both therefore a contingent nature. And um, yes, and um, I will show in, 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 my, in my presentation how the contemporary ethics seems in some way uh, to be more focused on the aesthetics of the social and cultural and ethical ethics. Uh, that institutional decision or exhibition programs generate in the, con in the contingency of the context in which uh, they take place, rather than on the aesthetics of the works of art uh, and the forms of the works of art. And I will explore how the ethics of, uh, that art institutions are addressing cannot be described in Aristotelian terms as a mode of acting in a good way, but rather they can be described uh, drawing on a Lombard uh, philosophical understanding of ethics, uh, which considered the latter um, has a good way of being, but only in connection to the particularity of a political, uh, historical, and, and cultural context in which uh, the, uh, these ethics is embedded. And I will conclude by saying that uh, the 21st century art institution um, uh, and their ethics refer uh, to the mode of being and acting in a good way, uh, but which can only be judged in relation uh, to the particularity of a context and uh, to the contingency of uh, certain circumstances. I, uh, yeah, you can see it. Um, the first ethical dimension I'm going to, um, to discuss refer to the institutional entanglement with ethical principles. And throughout my research, I've been looking at art institutions analyzing the deployment and the function of their ethical commitment, which has consisted in stressing that the, eco the economic sustainability of the institution, for example, is done in a responsible way uh, through um, an accountable, uh, through the, the ch through by choosing accountable and ethical uh, uh, partnerships. Art institutions do not perform ethically, uh, for instance, if, spons if the sponsors uh, that they choose uh, to finance their exhibition program, for example, or their educational uh, uh, projects, are not in the same business of ethics. The creative, um, and, and here I would like to mention an example, uh, which is the one of uh, Tate Liber uh, of, uh, Liberate Tate, uh, which is the, uh, the group, uh, the, the art collective that is asking uh, Tate to decline um, British petrol sponsorship uh, of the arts. And, um, the creative interventions of, uh, Tate, uh, of Liberate Tate has stressed, uh, have stressed uh, the, um, the attention on the critical discourses uh, around the ethical sponsorships of art, of the arts. And despite the increased awareness on these regards, B, uh, BP remains still a conspicuous uh, presence within the British uh, cultural landscape. 
For example, we have a British Federal uh, sponsorship of, at the National Gallery, um, at the National Portrait Gallery, or uh, at, at um, Tate Britain, or for example at the Royal House, um, uh, Opera House. So, just, I mean, to name a few. But as art institutions uh, uh, form identities and, and have the, poten the potential to promote social and cultural uh, change, I think ethics becomes uh, a central concern. What does it mean, for example, for an art institution to have an ethical identity? And, and why is corporate sponsorship a problem uh, for institutions when it increases funding um, uh, and, and also uh, where in, uh, these increased funding might allow galleries such as state to function better and to reach out a wider audience uh, that perhaps, uh, th perhaps through uh, maintaining and increasing uh, ex free exhibitions and resources. To understand how art institutions form identity, one could refer to uh, Jacques-Luc Nancy's intuition of, um, of identity. Um, has a process of being both singular but also plural. Uh, philosopher Jacques-Luc Nancy um, suggests that by introducing our own uh, particular identity, uh, we are also uh, producing something that can always be assimilated and, uh, and understood by the others. And as a, at the same time, we as individuals um, are self-aware that um, we continually produce and understood uh, well, that we assimilate and that we continually produce and reform uh, our identities by absorbing something uh, from the others. Identity is, in other words, responsive and perpetual. And while we assimilate identities, we also alter them. And the same way, Tate, um, a public institution which strives for being a, col a place for individual and collective cultivation, by accepting by accepting the sponsorship from uh, British Petrol is under pressure to ensure that the company is represented in an ethical, engaged, and also uh, in a, uh, in a um, uh, I would say, you know, um, collective way. Um, the very fact that the exhibition is providing a platform for the company, British Petrol, an unethical organization, I would say, um, and, and it gives to it a seemingly ethical uh, face, shows that there is um, an agenda at play. And no matter if the museum uh, works toward the definition of a socially engaged and ethical profile, it ends in contradicting itself when it absorbs the unethical identity um, of the sponsor who does not have the same ethical commitment. Janet Mustin, um, the founding director of the Seton Institute um, of Museum Ethics, argues that museums and art institutions need to transform uh, into sites of critical inquiry uh, rather than simply providing a fixed cultural uh, model. And in her essay, The Contingent Nature of Museum Ethics, she states that activism, such as the one attained by, by Liberate Tate, opens up a debate in the museum around social justice issues. For Mastin, uh, as a contemporary ethical institution is one in which ethics is a, a social praxis that responds to mutual concerns and requires strong discursive relationships between institutions and audiences to facilitate engagement and social practice. But yet, Late in the 19, in late, um, since the 1990s, art historians uh, such as Nicolas Bourriot or Grant Kester have investigated how contemporary art, in the form of relational practices, had emphasized the strong uh, discursive relationships between art institutions and audiences as a means to facilitate engagement and social practice. In relational aesthetics, uh, Nicola Borio define, defines as relational the artistic practices which aim at producing a, sociabil a sociability, siphoning the space of relations between the artwork, the space, and the public. Artists uh, like, for example, um, Thomas Ishon uh, or Pierre Huyck uh, or Francis Harris have had started uh, yet in the 1990s 
creating works of art that might make no distinctions between their work inside and outside the exhibition gallery, expanding into the contingency of their circumstances. The focus on the contingency in the, of uh, the context um, of the context and on the social collaborative forms between people have been also central, uh, the, the central object of investigation of another key text uh, by Grant Kester, Conversation Pieces, Community and Communication in Modern Art. Kester's, Kester suggests that such a collaborative and dialogic artistic practice could be understood only by shifting the conception of art away from the visual and sensor um, uh, that is typical of the individual experience and towards the practice of engaging negotiation. A number of curators and scholars have interpreted these artistic and relational practices as ethical gestures strengthening social uh, uh, response, uh, relationships and collaborative partnerships between artists and audience. Maria Lind, for example, uh, who is among the, the support, those supporters, identifies the ethical potential um, of these artistic practices in the artist's author authorial renunciation and taking, uh, and taking the artistic uh, collective, uh, Oda Pragesi, as an example, she observes how they use uh, art as a means for creating and reinventing relationships <coughs> between people and she also stresses how the ethical statement proposed by this kind of art consists in creating a condition of equal and shared authority where the audience is entitled of uh, the knowledge production the same way the artist is. But for Bordeaux, Kesters and Lin, ethics refers to um, that mode of maximizing the common good through the, through the pursuit of artistic collaborative uh, practices that allow the audience to interact actively with the work of art and, dire and, and, and directly also with the context in which this is placed. However, uh, yet in the essay The Social Turn and Its Discontents, Claire Bishop warns again uh, such collaborative practices, noticing how they have been gradually and automatically perceived to be artistic gestures of resistance with a clear political task of strengthening the social bond. Bishop notices how, as a consequence, artists are increasingly judged by their working process, the degree to which they supply good or bad models of collaboration, and for the social and political effects that their art creates on the social sphere. She recognizes, in fact, that in such a case, there cannot be a failed or unsuccessful, unresolved or boring works of collaborative art, because all are equally essential to achieve a more cohesive community uh, between art artists and, and the audience. Bishop has a good point when she says, yeah, when she says that um, the social turn in contemporary art has prompted an ethical turn in art uh, criticism. And yet the ethical turn in art criticism has gradually influenced also the curatorial practice of contemporary and modern art institutions. More and more museums of modern and contemporary art, and here I would mention the case of the Van Happen Museum in Eindhoven and, and Tate Liverpool in the UK, have become promoting collaborative forms of uh, curating through which they could outsource the creation of uh, exhibitions or collection displays intended to be, um, in this case, as an ethical and also transparent uh, way to explore new research methodologies through the involvement of, of a larger public. For these museums interested in uh, supporting um, uh, socially engaged curatorial practices, the creative energy of participatory practices aim at somehow rehumanizing, or at least, I would say, um, the alienating uh, um, the art institutions as delimited by norms or uh, traditional art historical approaches. In relation to the ethical instance proposed by collaborative curatorial practice, one could mention uh, the, Van Happen, uh, the work done by the Van Happen Museum in Eindhoven, which in 2014 has launched um, a call for curators that offered the opportunity to young audiences to submit a curatorial project and create one of the rehanging in the museum collection. 
According to the museum director Charles Eschen, the institutional curatorial practice should aim not just at educating communities, but inspiring new ways through which individuals can relate to each other. Such a practice comprises uh, turning the audience from passive receptor into active collaborators of the institutional message. One could similarly talk about the ethical implication of the participatory collaborative uh, uh, practice, um, curatorial practice, initiated at Tate Liverpool by director Francesco Manacorta uh, through the last rehanging of the collection called Constellation, which explore alternative approaches for studying and interpreting traditional art historical narratives. Such a curatorial approach tries to create new um, and unexplored uh, constellation and, uh, by drawing connections between major works of art considered of, a, of, a, of outstanding quality and uh, his historical significance by art critics and, uh, and by academics and other less known artworks uh, that are part of the collection. The museum curator had made focus group uh, with adults, school classes and, and families to draw their personal uh, map uh, of connections that somehow could replace the academic-based uh, uh, maps that initially the curators had, had uh, drawn. And here you have an example on, uh, on what this uh, constellation means. Basically, all the, the main artists uh, uh, that are present in the collection are connected through uh, clouds, uh, word clouds, um, for example, um, that, that you can, for example, see here, experience temporality flux. And these uh, word clouds are, were initially drawn uh, by, by the curators and, and, and gradually they have been replaced by the one uh, um, proposed by, by the audience. However, I would say that these collaborative practices tend to be automatically perceived as, as equally important curatorial gestures whose main purpose is to explore alternative, more socially engaging also, aspects of, of knowledge. And by renouncing to the curatorial authority, these museums aim at strengthening the social bond between the audience, the institution, and the context uh, in which they both exist. And there can be no failed or unsuccessful or unresolved uh, collaborative curated exhibition because this will essentially strengthen the connection between the institution, the audience, and, and the curators and the artists. But however, there is uh, still much to investigate about how our institution can evaluate the quality and the results of these collaborative practices, and mostly what vehicles would allow the museums and the art institutions to judge, use, and also communicate uh, the knowledge that they produce. In the case of the Van Happen Museum, for example, the ethical commitment um, to favor a discursive that favor a discursive turn uh, of the curatorial practice, um, which is actually a discourse that is about inclusiveness and interactivity, related, uh, resulted to be um, somehow a bit proud uh, because the open call was, was somehow directed to uh, uh, already curators already present in the audience. And, and, and the discourse um, ended up in being a little bit like uh, um, within the same uh, niche of people. Um, and so despite also the good intention of promoting collaborative practices, the museum had, has never succeeded in, in turning into a real uh, cultural arena uh, for the Eindhoven community. And the attendance has never achieved number that, have, that could denote a success. So um, for such low attendance, um, the local government have uh, stop and have cheese um, granting the, the, the financial support to the museum and this has been of course like um, in, in the name of uh, the ethical uh, contribution that the museum uh, could do to the community and different is the case of, of the Liverpool who actually uh, pursued by pursuing a curatorial strategy of inclusion um, is somehow also um, gathering uh, um, people into, um, into focus group as a form also of uh, co-opting uh, uh, their, um, uh, their interpretation and, and use this interpretation for the purpose of, of 
of the museum display. Um, but I think that at this moment it's, it's important to um, ask ourselves what kind of ethics is, is the one that contemporary art institutions are, are addressing. In Aristotle and, and in Greek ancient philosophy, ethics concern uh, the search for a good way of, of being and, uh, and also a wise uh, course of, of action. But on this account, um, ethics organizes, organizes practical um, existence around abstract representation of the good. Philosopher Alain Bourdieu describes ethics as a mode of inhabiting the world which is not dictated by fixed parameters uh, or prescriptive codes. And in his account, ethics is a more dynamic system in which the common good is maximized, but contrary to Aristotle, for whom ethics is linked to abstract categories. But he refers to ethics um, as um, a way of being um, related to particular situations. And ethics comes into mean as a way of seeking the common good by leaving the contingency uh, of the situation and in the most virtuous way, but also in the most appropriate way. And drawing on Alain Baudier's uh, definition of, ethic, of ethics, I would describe ethics as a mode of acting and thinking that is shaped by the contingency uh, of a certain context and, uh, and a particular situation. And I think that the turn to ethics of contemporary art institutions can be read within uh, Baudier's uh, philosophical framework because it explains the necessity of contemporary uh, art, artistic and curatorial practices and also institutional decisions to connect with the contemporary circumstances of our, of our time. Certainly, the turn to ethics offer, offers to art institutions a possible um, viable option to step beyond the blind spot left by contemporary artistic uh, or contemporary aesthetic theory uh, which has neglected the study of reception theory in art history and, and in research in, uh, of contemporary art. At the same time, over the past 15 years, um, such an understanding of ethics as a mode of maximizing um, the common good in relation to the contingency of certain circumstances has impacted also uh, the, the curatorial uh, sphere. How can curating maximize uh, the common good by being aware um, of the contingency of the circumstances. Curating can potentially maximize the common good of the society by expanding um, artistic interpretations on the, work of, on the works of art and also, I would, I would say, by telling um, a plurality of stories that might reach out different audiences with different cultural, geographical and social backgrounds. Such an understanding of ethics implies for art institutions to reconsider the research methodologies by transforming exhibitions into research in action where the actual placement of the objects become the starting point um, to inquire about the meaning and the significance of that work of art in, a specific, in that specific context and in that specific historical situation. Curatorial ethics, therefore, refers to the responsibility honed by curators in offering a well-researched exhibition and in curating this in a clear, understandable and also insightful way. I would conclude by, by saying that frequently I'm asked um, what an art institution exists for. And I think that the answer is very clear to me. Art institutions exist to um, tell stories about people and facts, situations and, and objects. And each story offers a perspective that sharpens the understanding of what um, uh, surrounds us in a new and yet unknown way. Art institutions keep the discourse on culture and identity alive by presenting works of art in a particular context and in a particular situation. As both the meaning and the significance of a work of art and as an, and an exhibition are given by the semiotic framework of the institutional context in which they are presented, curating becomes the means through which the institutions communicate uh, its ethical profile. How can curating um, define its ethical profile? 
Well, I think the ethical commitment of the curatorial practice uh, uh, consists in, in finding the connections between the work of art, the exhibition, and, and how these two relate to the context where they are presented. And in some way, this is also related to offering new perspectives on, on the work of art. And I think I would like to, to, to quote here um, uh, philosopher Luigi Parison, who speaks about the works of art, the work of art, as, as having these infinite uh, aspects, which are not just parts of, of, of the work of art, but they, but they are, but each part basically contains uh, the totality of the work. And, and, it, and it reveals itself according to a giver perspective. So I think that drawing on Parison, uh, we, we would all agree that curating the act of displaying uh, something, or a work of art, or, or an, making an installation in a particular context, is a research operation that aims at searching and researching among the many perspectives held by the, works of, by the work of art, the one that is more meaningful and more relevant for the particular context and the particular um, situation in which um, the exhibition and the works of art are taking place. And therefore, curating becomes um, contingent to its time and its, and its context, and is the vehicle through which institutions pursue an ethical agenda, both from an institutional but also from a curatorial perspective. And in such a way, exhibitions and museums display uh, or art institution display become sites for conducting active research uh, that has the potential to open new chapters not only in art history but also um, to, pro to provide uh, an alternative way to look at the present. I will conclude by saying that um, art institutions can sustain their ethical identity by developing democratic responsive policies that also consider uh, the current ethical issues. Uh, for example, in relation to the sponsors, as I said uh, at the very beginning, uh, for la but for larger institutions, developing these sustainable policies um, with the public will demand also fundamental shift in how curatorial research is conducted and how exhibitions are created, structured, and also presented. Perhaps inviting the audience in collaboration in the collaboration of uh, uh, of the and in, the, of the, in collaborating uh, and curating together the exhibition is not enough to create mutual equality between the curators uh, and, and the larger public, if this is also what, um, what institutions want to achieve. And if uh, not only uh, a matter of turning down ethical sources of funding and, uh, and engaging with the audience, um, this could be also a way to define uh, a more sustainable ethics for the time and the context being. And to achieve a, such, a, such an ethics, uh, institutional ethics, it is necessary for contemporary art institutions to reconsider their curatorial practice and rethink new interpretative categories. Thank you.